Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In the previous part of the Panda 3D series, we added materials to our building model. If you want it to look more realistic, you might want to add some textures. We'll be using five textures altogether, one for the walls in the middle part of the building, one for the walls in the two wings, one for the roof, over here, one for the windows, and one for the door. I'm going to use the texturehaven.com and textures.com sites or you can download lots of textures for free. You can grab the textures from GitHub, the link is down in the video description, or directly from texturehaven.com and textures.com. Now, here you can see the textures. So the first one is for the central part of the building. Then we have the sandstone blocks texture for the two wings. The next texture is for the roof. Then the next one is for the windows. And the last one is for the door. Now download the textures and make sure they are in the same folder as the blend file because this way the textures can be easily loaded in Blender. So let's go to our models folder. Here are the two files that Blender created. And let's add the texture files over here. And now one more thing. If I view them as extra large icons, I can see what they look like. But we are now inside the models folder. Let's create inside this models folder another folder for just our building because we're going to have other models as well. So we don't want it all to be cluttered too much. So folder and let's rename it building. Now all these files should go into this folder. So we now have our models folder with our first model building over here. Good. And now we can open this folder in Blender. So models, building, building blend. Now, let's start with the middle part of the building. Before we add a texture, we should UV unwrap the model. This means we should unfold the faces so that they can be spread on a flat surface. To do that, let's go to the UV editing workspace, which is over here, UV editing. Good. Now, here we have a 3D viewport, and here we have a UV editor. So the 3D viewport is in edit mode by default. And here we're gonna spread our model thin. By the way, when talking about textures, we use the U and V for the coordinates, hence the name UV editor. This is how we differentiate them from X and Y coordinates used for the model. Anyway, first we have to select the middle part of the building. The simple way to do it is by selecting the wall material so materials, wall, and hitting the select button. So now this part is selected because this wall material is assigned to this part. And now it's time to UV unwrap. There are many ways this can be done, but as our mesh has perpendicular faces just like a cube, we can use a special type of unwrapping. In the UV menu over here, Select Cube Projection. Now you can see the projection in the UV Editor. And now let's apply a texture image to the selected part of the building. To see what the image looks like, let's switch to Material Preview Shading. So here. Then in Material tab, click on the little yellow circle next to the base color slot here and select image texture like so. 
Now hit the open button and select the red brick texture image. Open. Now you can see the image on the walls, but the bricks are too big. In order to change it, we must scale up the projection. So first, let's open the, the same image over here. So just hit over here and select the same image. Good. Now, as you can see in the UV editor, the walls in the projection are very small as compared to the bricks. This is why they look so weird on the building walls. So hit A to select all here and scale it up by a factor of seven. This will do. So S seven, enter. You can zoom out and here you can zoom in. Now the bricks look much more realistic on the building. And now let's have a look at what it looks like in object mode. So tab and here we are in object mode. Doesn't look bad. Okay, so let's save the file, Control S. Now let's texture the wings of the building. So let's go back to edit mode and let's deselect all. And now let's select just the wings of the building. You can select them by material in the material properties tab. So again, select this wings material and hit select. And these parts where this material is applied are selected. Now we have to UV unwrap the selected parts of the building using cube projection like before. So with the wings selected, go to the UV menu and select cube projection. Then click on the yellow dot over here and select image texture. And this time, open the sandstone blocks image file and also select the same image over here. Good. Again, we want to scale the image a little, maybe not a little. So just hit A to select all over here and hit S25, enter. Now this is fine. Here you can see these single sandstones. Good. Let's switch to object mode, so tab, to see what it looks like. Uh, pretty decent, I think, right? Fine. Now let's save the file, Control S, and now let's texture the roof. So let's go to edit mode, deselect all, and now we have to select all the faces that make up the roof. So we can use the circle select tool again. So hit C and just paint your selection like that. Here, right click because otherwise you won't be able to do anything in the editor like orbiting, for example. Zoom in a little, C again to activate the circle select tool and paint your selection again. Now, right click. Now go to wireframe to make sure that only the roof faces have been selected. Otherwise you have to deselect other faces because we don't want the roof texture to be applied to other faces. Now let's go to material preview, fine. Now we want to assign a new material to these faces. So in the material tab, Let's hit the plus sign button to assign a new material, new. Let's name it roof, enter, and assign. Now, the faces that make up the roof have already been UV unwrapped, so you don't have to do anything about it. Now, let's set the base color to image texture. So here, image texture. And let's open the file where this is this one, I think, yes. So, okay, let's open the image here as well, good. 
and let's scale the image by a factor of 0 0.2 so select all here and hit S 0 0.2 enter now you may also want to move these UVs to adjust the image so you can watch it here and now let's hit G to move and let's move it a little up like that maybe like this and you can watch this all the time in the 3d viewport i think this is fine maybe like that okay let's confirm and now let's go to object mode and see what it looks like well we're not going to see the roof very much so I think that's fine and let's save the file now we're gonna texture the windows so go to edit mode again deselect all now to select the windows select the windows material over here and hit select all the windows are now selected now we have to UV unwrap the selected faces that make up the windows this time we're going to use the Smart UV Project option from the UV menu. So with the window selected, go to the UV menu and select Smart UV Project. And then hit OK. Good. You can see the Windows UVs here. And now set the base color to Image Texture and open the texture image which is this one texture come windows house old and so on open image right now as you can see the windows are very messy here so we have to fix it now first let's open this image over here as well and this time we're going to use just a small portion of the image to texture the window so let's use the portion with the window on the right. So this portion only. Now we want all the windows to have the same texture. So the optimal solution would be to move and scale them so that they are just above the portion of the image with a window. Doing this by hand would be tedious and inaccurate because there are so many windows. But as all the windows are the same size, we can do it in a simple way. First, with all the windows selected in the 3D viewport, go to the UV menu and select Reset. This will map the UVs to the entire image, so they will be all the same position and the same size. Now select All in the UV editor by hitting A. And now move and scale the islands. This is what we call the UVs that are now stacked on top of one another because here we have one window on top of another. So let's move and scale them so that they are exactly about the right window on the image. So S to scale, G to move, S to scale again, S X to scale only on the X axis. And you can all the time watch the windows on the right in the 3D viewport. Maybe move a little to the right. I think that's fine. We can zoom in here to see what it looks like. Yeah, pretty decent, I say. So we're done with the windows. Let's go to object mode. And this is what they look like. Not bad. Let's save the file. Finally, the door. So again, let's go to edit mode. Deselect all. Select the door. So select the door material and hit the select button. Now the door is selected. Now the door is very simple. So you can use the basic unwrap option. The first one, unwrap. To UV unwrap the door. Here it is. Now let's set base color to image texture and let's open the door image which is over here door with paneled we can zoom in a little 
Let's open the same image here. Fine. Now select all in the UV editor, A. Move and scale it as necessary and watch the texture all the time in the 3D viewport on the right. So S to scale, G to move, S, Y to scale only on the Y axis. Let's watch it here. I think it's okay. Not bad. Fine. Now the door image here will have slightly different proportions, but don't worry about that, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Now let's switch to object mode. And here we have our whole building textured. The central part, the wings, the windows, the door, and the roof. Let's save the file. So, now our building model is finished, ready to export it to Panda 3D. This is what we are going to do in the following parts. Also, feel free to check out my awesome Blender YouTube channel, which is completely dedicated to Blender. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.